entire team, Ben. All right, I won't upload the first game because there's kind of no point. Yeah. No one's going to I mean, watch it. As good as back. it was. It um, was good up to that point, but there's a, two long pauses and then a forfeit, so that seems a bit silly to upload it. Yeah, so is that, does that count as a draw then, like not counting? Yeah, or? we won't upload that game. There'd be no point uploading it. Oh, right. Okay. Um, so just pretend it didn't happen. No, we Easy still got to play it. Right? Exactly. Dodge. And now he'll okay. just dominate this game. <laughs> and it'll yeah. be another easy win. Well, we'll I see. Wonder, is it going to be Chen Ban? Is it going to be... Chen and Bane. Yes, of course. And Magnus. Brex and Jack S drafters. Yeah, sorry, Nat. You did really well, but then you decided to disconnect. So, um... That's a problem. Yeah, two new drafters, like you said, so this should be interesting. Jack said in the chat, um, I've got some drafts planned. So I'm actually quite yes. interested to see if he pulls out something slightly unusual, or will his planned Ten draft be remaining. like Magnus Doom? Five, <laughs> and be like, five, wow. Five, five core lineup, five let's go. Remaining. My favorite draft to play in a unranked game, you know, there. if you're just memeing around, is the five globals. So you get like Spectre, Zeus, Nature's Prophet, stuff oh. like that. And so you see someone on the map and you just bam, they all just insta kill them. Yeah. And they're like so scared because anyone who walks out of the map can be killed at any one time. Oh, it's good fun. Normally, normally. Chen, Olga, Bane, Doom. It was a Doom ban, so last time it was Magnus. So, Ten Magnus is so remaining. good at the moment in every single lane. I've seen him play POS 1 in ranked Five games, in pro remaining. games, and still win. Off lane, mid, doesn't matter. So, if I was them, I was either Brex or Jack, Magnus would be first picked. If you've got Roids on your team, Radiant I would be picking pick. Magnus because he is a very good Oracle. pick uh, player for Magnus. Um, Oracle first pick is unusual. That's Brex. I think Brex. Pick that. He does. Oh. Oracle's a great hero. He's got. He counters a lot of heroes with damage over time effects and debuffs. You know, like uh, Venomancer or remaining. Queen of Pain, Darkseer. Doesn't have a lot of crowd control, and he's very Ten fragile. So it just seems odd to pick him first pick. But you know, he's a good hero. Well, might, so. Well, it might be Super Noodles actually. I think them. I think them two are the Oracle. I've seen Noodles Oracle before. He's comfortable with the hero. Who was he playing last game? Winter Wyvern. He did very well on that Winter Wyvern. Fantastic play. So, yeah, I, he seems to be pretty comfortable with support picks. I think that's his his normal role, I think, Noodles. Support. I think he's actually better at it than he plays core. He's just He suffers from the I'm divine, so I have to play core. But I think he's actually a support player. That's very tragic. That actually sounds so tragic. Except I like playing core, so it's fine. I'm happy to play it. But I think high-rated support players, um, yeah, they suffer from that, don't they? When they're with um, lower-ranked players, yeah. they feel like, oh, well, I better go. But Bill never did that, or Bill, he just played supports anyway. <laughs> punch! Uh, okay, so... Oh, I had a sick punch game yesterday, honestly. You're going to show off the new skin. I haven't actually seen it yet in-game. Oh, it's so good. It's so cute. Ooh, all this is Jack. Jack's like, yeah, Spectre's going straight <laughs> up. Now, a good hero against Spectre is Viper. So, because he's got the break and he has it really early, literally straight away from level one, he can have break and a very long is break. Is he going to ban it, I wonder? Surely. Jack knows what he's doing. I can't Five think of who else remaining. really hard counter Spectre. Uh, I feel like Spectre can struggle a little bit against a Necrophos. Um, I know Terra Blade's often picked against Spectre because it's just a, a strong hero who can man up to all the illusions. Even Lion, I think, is actually funnily quite a good one because if Lion, you know when the haunt happens, Lion can instantly yep. kill the illusion with Mana Drain and then kill another illusion with Hex. Hex. You get yeah. rid of illusions very quickly. Magnus is banned, fair enough, very good hero. <laughs> I think this is the problem, right? Knife my ban, there we go. Okay, they know, he knows. Um, if you pick a core early, you get to ban around the core, you know, like Viper, etc. Um, but also, the enemy team, they can very easily get lured into this noob drafting trap, which is, we need to counter the Spectre, let's pick three yes, heroes who counter me. Spectre. And then yeah. Spectre's like, okay, you're countering me. What about my mid laner who's like 10-0, killing everyone? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. forgot about him, because we're trying to ban Spectre. Uh, or counter him. 
Do you remember back in the day where whenever there was like a spectre, people were like, oh my god, it's a late game hero, let's pick Medusa, do like late game versus late game. Like, yep. I'm pretty sure that was always Raising the thing, and then just now, just, that just doesn't really happen anymore. But that's the funny thing about spectre, I don't think spectre has Raising to be a late game deep. hero. Oh, they yeah. banned techies for Brex. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. Um, also Terrorblade. So it's like Jack. Jack already knows. We're on the same wavelength, obviously. Uh, the Viper ban, the Terrorblade ban, just the two heroes I said straight away. So he knows what he's talking about. Um, Spectre doesn't have to be a late game hero. If you build Midas or radiant. First Item Radiance, yes, you are committed to late game. If you get Drums, then maybe Diffusal Blades. Oh! That's going to be Belial Support Invoker, perhaps? I don't think we have a mid lane Invoker player here. So right? I I don't think Royds plays much in Volker mid. He's a hero you have to play quite a lot to be good at him. Um, or at least fairly decent with Exor. Ten maybe he'll go Quas works, but uh, I think it's maybe going to be a Bilal support invoker. That seems Five to be the, the more obvious Radiant pick to me. Pick. Well, picks are quite quick. There is the Necrophos. Okay, so again, third hero I mentioned against Spectre. People know the counters to Spectre. So that's uh, that's a good pick. You know, you only have to get Spectre to half HP and Spectre can die to the Scythe. Also, you're doing a lot of damage to Spectre just over time with the Heartstopper. And Spectre remaining. can't burst you when you're Necrophos, so you can easily survive against her. Five seconds remaining. Maybe someone should pick up a Nullifier this game. Actually, no, Enchantress is a great counter to Necrophos, I just thought about it. Because Enchant is an aggressive dispel. So you can dispel the Ghost Shroud from Necrophos. Oh, shroud. Yeah. Oh. And you can dispel it with Tornado. So, yeah, there's actually actually a lot of options there. But having Pudge in the game is always going to make it exciting, because Pudge will either basically be dead weight and do nothing, or will be going around the map tearing everyone apart yeah. with huge hooks and dismembers. So, anything can happen there. Not sure about Pudge versus Spectre. It's an interesting matchup. I guess if you can hook the Spectre out of position... You've got a lot of luck down there. Okay, I like, now the, I, like I like the um I like these picks so far because we don't usually pick these. We don't see a pudge, Oracle, and Volkers. Yeah, that true. Much. It's non stand it's not oh, another witch doctor, another snapfire, you know, yeah. same old, same old. I like it. I definitely do. We are digging into that reserve time very deep. So Jack obviously Whoa. had a, had a plan, but now he's not sure. And he goes with the Night Stalker. Okay, AoE Silence. That's obviously going to be pretty good against Necrophos and Oracle. Maybe against Pudge as well. He can still... I don't know if he can even change Rot. I don't think you can turn Rot, rot on or off if you've got Night Stalker silencing you. Uh, yeah, it can work. It's an aggressive hero. Make some space for the Spectre. Imagine night time. Imagine how quickly you can be, everything's going fine, then suddenly it turns to night and Spectre haunts on you, and now you're terrified because you can't escape and you just get killed. I haven't seen the Pudge Arcana yet, or is it Persona? I don't know what the difference persona is. Persona to Persona. To me, they don't really mean anything, but uh, I'm happy to, I'd like to see it because I haven't seen it yet. Oh, very cute. I still need to bring up that Windranger one. Yeah, that one in Treasure 3. When? Oh yeah, Treasure 3. I forgot about the treasures. Not sure I'll ever get the Wind Ranger. Um, Arcana though. Unless they actually do a really good job and make it look like super incredible. But well, that seems yeah, unlikely. But it's, you know, whenever they release like a something like the quaff and the pudge everyone always complains on reddit that it doesn't look like the way that it's been displayed on the battle pass i mean i'm not i personally prefer the base quap to the arcana but i th or the persona whatever i don't know um, but i think the quap is actually really good i think it was made well and it looks pretty nice i just prefer the base one but I think he did a good job with it. Uh, the Wraith King is good. The Skeleton King, rather. I think that's good. Ah, that's a hero we have not seen for a while, but used to be super popular in Iron Houses. Legion Commander. Uh, they've not really yeah. got any 
obvious combos unless you consider Necrophos, duel into, you know, get them to half, finish off with the Scythe, then it's a kill for Legion if you do it early enough, so maybe. Uh, is Legion good against Spectre? Potentially. If a Legion can get sufficiently fed enough, she can just blade Mel Blink into the Spectre. I played a ranked game a while ago, solo ranked. We had a Legion commander, absolutely dominated the Spectre. Went off lane, maxed, um, oh, what is it called? Is it Moment of Courage? The one where you just retaliate with a hit? And just manned up to the Spectre in lane. Took her down, jeweled her, we got tons of kills. So I've seen it work, but that's only anecdotal. Five seconds remaining. Right, we're still looking for mid laners, unless we think Invoker's mid. The reason I don't think it's worth saving your mid to last, if you're the, let's say, the Dire team, is because, unless, oh, it could actually, no, it could be Necrophos mid. Maybe they have picked the mid. That yeah. my, that's my mistake, because it's Legion offlane, Necrophos mid. So they have yeah, picked the mid. Remaining. They need to ban Queen of Pain then, because if Queen of Pain is mid, Necrophos might as well give Five up. Five seconds remaining. <laughs> We saw what happened. It was uh, Flood playing against Belial, yeah. I think, in the No Divine uh, game. Yes. Wait, wait, it wasn't Belial SF. Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. It wasn't Queen of Pain, but it was. it's a similar matchup. It's if you pick a... Like, Flood didn't play badly, but he didn't know that the matchup was so terrible. Yeah. Right? That's the problem with people who don't play mid. They go, oh, yeah, Necrophos is quite a good hero. Like, when, remember when Ollie had Zeus picked for him? He was against oh, Storm God. Spirit and... And uh, yep. Spectre or something like that, and he ended up just dying. He went A on disc, two braces. Nah, it, it's it's they don't. Oh Zeus, that's a good ban. I just worried that Queen of Pain. If they pick Queen of Pain for mid, Necrophos can just GG. Honestly, it's so hard to win that lane. Maybe if the Necrophos super outplays the Quap, but maybe Quap got nerfed a little bit. It's just a hard lane. It's a hard lane for Necro. You get absolutely killed by the Max Shadow Strike. Ten seconds remaining. You've not got as much attack damage as Quap. You don't quite. I guess you have about the same attack Five range. You do have a heal and some base regen, but it's very hard to keep up with the Quap's Shadow Strike damage, even after the slight nerf it received. Radiant team pick. No, they went with Slark. That means. Okay. Oh, Queen of Pain. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. Sorry, there we go. That makes sense. So Quap mid. They knew. I'm actually. Wait, that Pudge isn't the thing, is it? No, it's not. I'm guessing Veteran doesn't have it. Um, okay. Broid Spectre. Look at that Drekken Night Stalker. Look at them cosmetics. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's it's the Edge Lord. I mean, absolutely. <laughs> I think this is this was really what the fucking crocodile slug. What is that? It's horrible. <laughs> this is Red cosmetics slark. gone mad. And Invoker, what it's like? I don't even know what's going on. It's like a sundial. A sundial. I mean, to be honest, I thought this drafting was really, really good. good. Because yeah. what we saw was everything we predicted seemed to come true. I was like, oh, Viper and Terrorblade, really good inspector, both banned. Oh, they maybe should pick Necrophos. Necrophos is picked. They need to counter Necrophos with Quap. Quap is picked. You know, it's pretty much perfect drafting from both teams. Or perfect drafting, in my opinion, which is, you know, I'm only a low immortal player. Um, but yeah, I think it's I think it's been an interesting game. I feel like Miles, who's playing Oh no, no, no. Obviously. Miles is gonna be off lane. It's gonna be Ollie mid. Yeah, they fixed it. It's fine. Legion Commander is is fine mid against Quap because if Quap shadow strikes you, you just press the attack it off. Immediately dispel it. So that's a hundred percent gonna be Legion mid. I I can't believe I didn't see that. I didn't even realise that they had that option. Don't put Necro mid. They've countered the hero who's not even going to go mid. In fact, Legion is the perfect counter to Quap. That's that's really smart. That was but it means we'll get an offlane Necrophos, which is still going to be pretty good. I think it's a strong hero against the Spectre. Uh, that makes a lot of sense to me. We've got Bilal on his support Invoker. Look at how much health regen he's got. I mean, he's near a tower. Veteran so that's way Pudge as well. I love to see that. It's Veteran... He not have a high comp His battle pass is level 561, so he could have the Pudge skin. See you later, nerd. He just doesn't want it? Uh, probably, yeah. Maybe he just likes the his to battle. We'll ask him. Um just checking when do you get the It's two hundred and like fifty, isn't it? 
or something. It's quite is, low. Is it, is, is it before the Wind Ranger? Is oh, it way. Before? It's the first one. It's before the Anti Mage. <laughs> oh, it is. 255. That was oh, close. We've got the hook level one. Begins. Here comes the hook. And they got Drekken. I mean, they don't get the bounty rune. I don't know if they actually can kill Drekken. Oh, bottom. Body blocks. I mean, I'm too busy looking at Drekken here. We'll have a quick flash bot. They actually do get the kill. Miles goes down. He actually dies to Spectre. And is Drekken going to die? Max range. And he's dead. Huh? Okay, he finally <laughs> takes the kill. It's like he was leaving the kill. And then he was like, all right, it's taking too long to get this one to get away. Yoink. Yeah. So that's already a kill each for the runes. But Radiant did find three of the bounties, so they won in that aspect. Um, Pudge has to now TP bottom. See, they would put three heroes top. Look how much regen Invoker has. Eats Tango, 12 health regen. It's that Quas giving him so much regen. Three flat regen at level one. I can see why Invoker is an annoying support to play against. And who have we got mid? We've got Jack versus Ollie. So he has level Shadow Strike at level 1, which I don't think is the correct play because there's just no point. Ollie's always going to be able to dispel it, and Ollie has plenty of mana. He was being very aggressive. Right. Maybe going for another kill. Look how aggressive the Spectre's playing. He took one point dispersion, and there's the oh. kill. Impetus, rank 1 Impetus, it's enough. Royd already has two... Okay, this is a completely different game. Royd is now 1-0-1, so is Tom. Doing yeah. very well on the Spectre. This isn't going to be another one of those Draw Ranger games where he dies like a hundred times. I wonder if he's going to go double drum or like... There's a lot what, of items that could Spectre. go. Yeah, yeah. Let's have to see. It's hard to say. I still like the Meteor Hammer because how bad Spectre is at farming. I feel like we saw a double drum, I don't know, or a drum, was that um, Dave yeah, when the drums? Yeah, 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 Dave, yeah, I just, I don't feel like, Spectre is so bad at farming, if you're not going to go Midas Radiance, I feel like you have to go Meteor Hammer. I feel like those are the only options, it's either Midas or Meteor Hammer, or that's it. I mean, Necrobot used to be picked, doing quite a lot of damage to Roids. Only rank 1 on Necrophos though, he's not actually in range for another Death Pulse. Did a lot of damage to him, he's going to salve. Top lane. Wow, Noodles found a solo kill on Belial. He is popping off on supports today. Getting solo kills all over the place. Hardly played in the last three months, by the way. What an I think he's a great example of how you can be a, a good support player, how you can make a lot of impact playing a support. You know, he's not just AFK sitting behind his core, just defending him the whole time. He's going in, he's being aggressive, he's getting kills. Bit of a fight going on top. In fact, we've got Brex on a pos 1, which you don't usually see. Out comes the EMP. It is going to hit Brex, but EMP rank 1 does very little damage. Tornado doesn't quite reach, because again, level 1. <laughs> and Drekken will actually get away. He's invoked Cold Snap, but he's not got any mana. EMP rank 1 only does 50 damage. Oh, Bot lane, trying to get Roids. He's going to be fine. I think it's 50 damage, right? Is it? Oh no, 100 damage. 100 damage. You're a goddamn hero! Whenever I hear that line, I always think it's Toby. It sounds yeah, just like too. Toby. <laughs> They're going in again. Better than doing what he can to save Roy's. He's got the hook. Is he going to hook to save him? No. He's going to try and get the kill though. He's all in on this. He does actually find the kill on Roy. Okay, that's pretty big. Whoa, that huge impetus. Gotcha. So this is second time in a row, Tom Enchantress. What a force to be reckoned with that is. How much oh damage? God. And now he's kind of gone AFK in the lane. Okay, he's micromanaging his shop. Pudge already <laughs> has found himself an Urn of Shadows. I guess that kill on Spectre really helped him. That's a good pull from the Radiant. They managed to get already a deny from that. Radiant's top tower is under attack. The well played there. How is mid lane going? Ollie already has two braces. Two points of Presti attack as well. Yeah, okay. You can see Jack stopped leveling up Shadow Strike, which is the correct play. But Ollie's doing quite well in CSing. Yeah, that was a bit of a fail. But then we've got another fight. 
Ghost Shark already taken by Necrophos actually keeps him alive. Didn't oh, they used Enchant already? Rexus Courier died. I'm not entirely sure what T. Oh, there's a bit of behind the tower fighting. Veterans come top. They have lost Noodles, but they're going to get Belial. Is there a big hook? Oh, the hook range is long. The dragon's going to be fine. Gonna hook the bounty. Oh, he just oh, misses it. I would, I would have tried to hook that. It's night time. The dragon's chasing him. He doesn't really do a lot of damage. I don't think he's gonna kill him. Did he put down the? Who put down the tree? Veteran, I think. He's gonna do it. He's gonna find it. Yeah, oh, the it body is. block from Rex. Uh. And now dragon can just run away. Yeah, he's like, wait, I'm losing. I just see it. Mid. Good, good oh old night still. Okay, okay, didn't see the kill mid, Gang. but I'm looking at Miles Bar. He's struggling. Tom pops Nate's attendance. Mango finds the kill. 153 pure damage with rank two impetus. What a ridiculous spell that is. I don't even believe that. Yes, Jack did get a kill mid using his ultimate. Yeah, and Bilal helped him as well. A lot of rotations, I like this. We're aggressively rotating now, not just sitting AFK in our lanes. Like, Veteran's been basically to all lanes already. He's going now going top lane again. Miles is struggling in the bot lane. I mean, what, what is his score? Um, he's already he's 0 and 4. One assist, though. Nice tornado from Bilal. The hook. It's not going to land. He's not going to try it anymore. They've got three heroes top. I don't know what Miles is going to do now. I think he's going to be jungling. Potentially, because this lane is too hard for him. Unfortunately, that means Spectre's going to free farm. And Spectre is going for Midas. Nice. Good combo you've got there. Not going to be enough to kill Drekken. Very close. Not quite. Tom's here. And then immediately gets a kill. This is, this is Tom God, this game. Yeah. Tom God. But also, unfortunately, Noodles died. He's been playing really well, too. It's like, are they going to have to commit to banning Chen and Enchantress now and never Tom's in the house? I just think let Tom play Chen, to be honest. I think it's Enchantress is, is more of a problem. His Chen is good, but like I don't think we should be banning Chen. I feel like it's a waste at this meta. I mean, unless it was Puppy or Kuroki or something. Or... <laughs> oh, okay, oh, they've the got him fuck? under the tower. Easy kill. Very nice. 293 only. Vector's haunting under the tower for the dive. He gets the kill. Once in again, now you've got the silence. It's so freaking golden. Why is it so golden? Doesn't last very long. That lasted barely any time at all. But Jack's here too. They've brought all of their heroes top. Literally all of them. Even Tom was top. He did die though. So that's a five man gank top. I like the five mans early. Okay, Miles is finally like. Okay, good. I'm going to quickly get a little bit of farm while I can. Pick up some levels. And Ollie's like, yep, same. I'm going to find some farm. But then look, everyone in this game starts with three TPs. That was a big change to Dota, giving everyone three, bounty, uh, three TPs to start with. Because it just means you can be really aggressive and gank. Ollie not going bottles, interesting. He's very out of mana. Maybe he should just get some clarities. Oh, right, Spectre is staying in the top lane. I'm not sure Spectre wants to be against the Slark. Spectre versus Slark is an interesting one. I guess if Slark fights long enough, he'll steal a lot of Agi. And because Spectre doesn't do a lot of damage, like in return, maybe Slark can just over time get more and more and more Agi. Arcane Rune's now sitting on the high ground, ready for Ollie to take when he pleases. No, Vesh is going to have to take it. It's a bit of a combo, this, isn't it? You get the long route from Fortune's End, which is two yeah. and a half seconds, even at rank hook. one, and then the hook, yeah. Easy D wards. Wow, look at Tom practically soloing Miles, or forcing him out the lane. He's a support, and he's like, get out my lane. <laughs> Few heroes going top, but they're quite low. Brex is in trouble. Does he have his ult? He's already used it. He's got six, four one charges. He's going to be fine. The hook. Oh. Unfortunately, goes into Brex. Ollie is here, but he has absolutely no mana because he TP'd with the last 75 of his mana. Yeah, Royce is going to go down. They brought four heroes top, so there's no way he escapes from this. He gets rooted. Is there going to be a hook? Jewel? No need. Pudge just turns up for the free stun. Uh, Ollie didn't have enough mana for Jewel. Yeah, he really so needs... Mana. He, he just bought three mangoes. I mean, an infused raindrop is not enough. He needs to actual, actually buy some regen. Yeah. Whereas Enchantress is enjoying a solo lane. 
I mean, he can oh. pretty much solo down uh, Miles. Miles is only level 5, but he will hit level 6 soon. Oh, fair enough. Just have a quick look at the levels. Noodles is fairly low, only level 4. All of the Radiant heroes are level 6, apart from Bilal, who's very close, but not like he cares about 6 because he's Invoker. So they've got their ults up a lot earlier. Three heroes still don't have their ult on the Dire. Pudges is pretty huge. Gets the Dismember. Doesn't do a lot of damage, but holds them in place for three seconds. Uh, who else have you got to get six? Necrophos, so you can get some kills with the Scythe. And Oracle, so you can save your team with the False Promise. He's already queued up the Tome. There's a quick door. Maybe just grabbing an Amazon delivery or something. Yep. Or maybe it was uh, someone trying to sell him Radiant's something and he's like, I'm not interested actually. Got a bit quite a bit busy. Uh, I was just like, nah, close the door. <laughs> Get back to his Dota. Well, my favourite is like, are your parents in? Or like, are you the adult of a house of this household? I've like, never yeah. been asked that. <laughs> I have, I have like, um, I think once when I was like my parents and they were in. Alright, Dyer have three heroes mid. Slark is farming the jungle, which is fine. I'm really not a fan of the phase boots on Slark, but I guess um, Jack is a big fan of it. And he's, I think, on that team. Oh no, he's not. He's on the other team. No, maybe Brex is Brex is copying. Or maybe it's just it's, it's a preference. It's a preference. I just like the treads because I think Slark needs the attack speed, and it gives 25 attack speed treads. That's why I'm more of a fan. I think Phase Boots has to be the right sort of hero and the right sort of game for Phase Boots. I think otherwise Treads by default is better. Oh, Tom? Nice oh, hook by Veteran. Oh, Unfortunately, oh. we've got no ult from either hero. You can rot him under the tower. He's got those uh, heal going on. Noodles, one more fight. Yep, there's going to be the kill. Another strength for Veteran. He's been in a lot of fights already. Dragon's popped his ult. He is charging at Veteran. Out comes the Haunt. Easy kill for Spectre. Keeps going. No Watch out, here comes Ollie. But Ollie's not got much mana. He's eating a mango. Enough for a jewel though. Rex is getting a bit of farm, but he is still quite low down in the net worth. Only 3,300. Spectre, 5,300. There is a bit of a lead for the Radiant. Jack's doing well as well. Quite oh. close to Ollie. Are they going, going Jack? They don't have the means to kill Jack. Hook into the ult. Nice hook. Now Ollie goes in for the jewel. Yeah, well played, Veteran. Big hooks. I'm surprised Veteran's done really well on Pudge this game. He's a, he, is a, he is a Pudge player. Oh, I fair enough. I mean, most of Pudge is about, is you know, because there's positioning, there's rotating, yes. etc. But it, a big part is hooking, and that he's definitely good at landing skill shots. So, good them. Look at Enchantress just chasing down poor Miles. Tom is relentless. <laughs> so much damage. I didn't realise that Necrophos' heal affects couriers. But now you can heal a courier. Oh, Bilal. Bilal is it? Oh! Yeah. No, Invis isn't going to save him. Or will it? No, maybe it will. And here comes the big quap ult. Gets the double kill straight away. Jack has turned up. Noodles, you do have your ult. Are you going to ult yourself or are you just going to die? You're actually going to oh, kill Belial. Okay, so he d makes the best out of a bad situation, but still, that is another kill on Brex. That is a triple kill for the Radiant. And unfortunately, Necrophos, he has been struggling this game. You know, he's trying his best miles, but he's had a hard laning environment. Double damage Ollie chasing down the, the Satyr Tormentor. Is he going to kill it? No. He's run out of double damage. I was like, leave it alone. Stop bullying my creep. How long does that last? I think it's up to two minutes. Yeah, up to two minutes. Only 60 seconds at the moment. Well, I didn't realise that the um, the Satyr creeps got zero base armour, whereas the Centaur has four. So that's quite a difference, actually. Nice hook again from Veteran. He's just non-stop with these hooks. Pop the scythe. So that's a free kill for Miles. Drekken's now dead for a while. Yeah, this he is on point with these hooks, Veteran. 
I mean, he's only yeah. level six, but it, it doesn't matter. He's just enabling his team to get kills. Uh, he, he could do us some levels, yeah. though, definitely. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. I feel sad for them. How and all these hooks and stuff and assists. He gets. He can get the flesh heaps when he levels it. Yeah, he's, he will already have nine. Look at him oh in those trees. Goodness. He's not going to get Jack. I mean, Jack's going to act like he's scared, but he doesn't need to. Oh, nice jewel. Do they have the damage to kill Enchantress? Yep, one more attack from him. Yes, just gets the Purifying Flames. Unfortunately, the hook misses from Veteran, but it doesn't matter. That's going to be a kill and another jewel win for Ollie. He's now got 20 damage. Legions always start slow, but a little bit of early game damage is always appreciated. Yeah. Be appreciated. Um, <laughs> because it means that you can snowball a bit a bit better. You know, If you have 20 or 30 damage early game, you can start getting solo kills. Miles yeah. is in trouble. No, they're not going to commit. They know that this TP's in. Got to up again, basically, because of the arcane rune. He's got up now. Ah, yes, arcane rune. But what yeah. vision do they have? Bilal's just TP'd out. They know that there's a lot of heroes, but... Well, let's have a look at what the Radiant can see. At the moment, they can only see Brex, but I think they knew other people were here. They know Noodles is coming. Jack is staying bot, though. He is TPing away. He's staying bot. Yeah, you're right. Dire are team scaling. I didn't realize that. Pudge has permanent strength. Slark has permanent agi. Legion has permanent jewel damage. If it goes late enough, <laughs> they can win the game, theoretically. Slark's one is, I think, the worst because, like, one agi kill is nothing. Oh, it looks like Night Stalker went for a dive mid. He's unfortunately going to go down. Royds is still going, though. He's strong, the Spectre. He's only got Midas. He's going for Radiance next, but he is high level. I think the highest level in the game. He gets Necro Scythe, takes a lot of damage, does manage to live. Blink by Ollie. In fact, it's going to be Miles who gets the kill. I can hear Pudge hooking someone in the back. Bilal's going to go down. Brex finds the kill. Jack takes out Veteran. I think that was what the dismember was. I'm surprised they didn't dive onto Tom. Maybe our oh, Pounce is a very long cooldown when it's only rank 1. This is why I don't think you should leave. I guess there's no option, but otherwise to leave Pounce at rank 1. But 20 second cooldown. Well, it's another one Aji for the Slark. Why does Meat Hook say damage twice? They never fix that. Look, damage, cast range, damage. Oh yeah. Indie. I've never noticed that. Indie company. Ollie's going in on Belial. Do they have the damage? Rex is here. Yep, that's... 10 per oh, well, how much damage is it now? 20 permanent damage for Ollie and 1 permanent Adi for Brex. So team scaling are online. You need to give the heal to your Brex. Yep, there he is. Is he going to be fine? Yep, Noodles is here as well. A lot of save. They have pressed the attack and they have everything Oracle can offer. And Jax used his ult but didn't get a kill. So this is a good time for Dyer to fight. This is a good turnaround. Radiant had definitely the better early game. Spectre was really fed. But now Dyer have had some really good kills. And Ollie, he's getting strong. 50 bonus damage already. Veteran, I think you've gone in a little bit too far. You're going to get brought down by Impetus. Hook misses. Aww. Brex, you've jumped in. I don't think you have the means to kill anyone, Brex. You need to leave. You do have Shadow Dance if you need it. You've got Noodles as well. Noodles is going to go down. Okay, it's a big turnaround from Radiant. They're on the run. I mean, Rank 1 Sunstrike's not really going to do anything anyway. But there you go. I think that's Brex down. He's already used the Shadow Dance. He was healed by Ollie. Ollie? Ollie, oh. Ollie blinked away. Blink. Okay, turn around by the Radiant. Some really nice kills there, especially the kill on Brex. No one has really done any farming this game. It's 17, nearly 80 minutes in, and the most CS is 107. It's very, very low. But, Royce does have a Midas and very nearly a Radiance. So he's the one who's going to start to snowball out of control. If we let him, that is. But maybe by then, um, Ollie will have so much bonus damage, he'll be able to kill him. So... Yeah, we'll see. I mean, Radiance does give 17% evasion until Ollie gets a BKB. He's already got a Blade Mail, so building Radiance yeah. is going to hurt. What if you've got Ags this game? Uh, Ollie? Yeah. Yeah, can do. It makes duel last a very long time, makes you spell immune. It means if you find the Spectre, you can just duel her to the death, take her out of yeah. the fight. It could work, it could work. Cause he um he got it, cause we were playing a pub yesterday, and he was legion, and he went ags, and he literally just soloed like the enemy terribly. 
because of the duel. Oh, I did see. I think I was spectating your game there. Um, and he was quite fed though, let's be honest. Yeah, he was. <laughs> Looks like they found a kill mid. Actually does get it with the Sunstrike, with the rank 1 Sunstrike. Veteran is struggling with levels a bit this game. I mean, he's got a lot of strength uh, saved up in his flesh heat, but he's not actually getting to yeah. use it because he's practically always dead. He's got eight deaths, you see. Going on Miles. Miles can just get his ult off. I mean, maybe a bit overkill, but is going to send Drekken back to the grave for 60 seconds. Also, it means it's a kill for Miles, which is always good. Now they don't have to worry about Night Stalker for the rest of night time. That's a big thing for them. Radiance very nearly on Spectre. Maybe he should be duel, uh, dueling the Queen of Pain. Because if you can kill Quap, that's huge. Because, you know, Jack's pretty strong. Ollie oh. goes in. Gets Orchid oh. straight away. Unfortunately, he wasn't close enough for the duel. He blinked really nearby, but not quite enough. But that's okay. He didn't really commit anything. Yeah. Veteran, I think you're going to die yet again. He does get a hook, though. Hook on Jack. Jack will kill him with the ult. Noodles, he's low, he's being kept alive by Oracle. Necrophos is very low too, his Ghost Shard gets dispelled and he's going to die. Is Noodles going to live? He's got a few stacks of heal on himself, yes he will. So that's two great kills from the Radiant. But another, yes another kill on Veteran, whose poor Veteran's only level 8. I think Brex would be okay. Ollie's looking for his own kill, blinks in on Jack, doesn't have the, oh gets silenced straight away before the duel. Yeah, really good use of Orchid by Jack. Nice tornado. Good. Yeah, ice wall as well. Really good. Roids has his radiance. It's now sent to him. You need to swap out the killer. Yeah, there it is. Brex trying to do some damage. He's in his ult as well. Does he have the damage to kill anyone? He's building up Aji slowly. Ollie is tanky, but they are going on him. Yeah, in fact, they've got another. Ollie gets a kill. I'm not entirely sure how. I think it was maybe Blade Mail and Shadow Strike. But uh, he will die. Even Jack S doesn't know how he died. <laughs> That's funny. I mean, he was going to die anyway, I think. Oh, Orchid pop. Ah, uh, Orchid. Orchid on uh, Blade Mail. Okay, I mean, overall, that was still a good fight for the Radiant. Unfortunately, we did lose uh, Jack right at the end. He is still the second most farmed person. I mean, look at the difference between Brex. Brex is 21 minutes in, only has 7k net worth. It's a pretty sad slot game, this one. Whereas the Spectre, I mean, what's the score? 9 and 3 and 10. He's got the Midas, he's got the Radiance, he's nearly got... He can already afford the Yasha. I think Spectre may get a little bit too strong. But, you know, Ollie's doing well. This is going to be some more dual damage for him. Jack is trying to run. He has not got his night time. And here comes the Ollie attack. Out comes the Scythe. Yep, you've hooked Ollie. I don't know why you hooked oh. him. Because he's on your team, but interesting. But there you go. Another 20 damage for Ollie. And Jack yeah. found yet another kill on Brex. Brex has no way to deal with the Orchid. The Radiant just have to keep up the pressure. They can't let Team Infinite Scaling get too strong. Veteran has fin <laughs> he's finally put a point in the flesh sheet. It gave him 8 stacks. Which is at the moment 12 strength, but that will go up to um, 24 strength as he puts more points into it. Ollie is always silent. Big impetus damage. I think he's going to be okay. Are we looking for a fight? Yeah, Ollie. Again, he doesn't find the range. He gets hit by the tornado. Yeah, you might have gone on the Spectre, but you can't kill him. He is strong. Leaves the kill to someone else. Veteran's going to go down as well. I think Miles may die. Are they going to chase Miles? Yeah, surely you go in for him. Just right click him to death. Yeah. Three more kills for the Radiant. They are really pushing their advantage now. Winning a lot of fights. It's, Ollie needs to blink closer. He's blinking always. Just not close enough for the duel. Every time. Oh, is just... it not? Is he not blinking max? Like, max range or whatever. I think he's not. He's just not blinking, yeah, close enough. He might oh. be blinking too far and, you know, only goes four-fifths the distance. But he's just not, he's not letting himself get close enough. He needs to get closer. 
Mm, Vlad's first item on Night Stalker. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Oh, that's got to hurt. Halberd, like, that's top it's pretty good actually. Buffs Spectre quite nicely. Yeah, maybe the Radiant are just avoiding it, like positioning really well. That's true. But I feel like Ollie should be, you know, he's a, he's a strong Legion. He should be the getting those jewels. He needs to get closer to them, I think. But the Radiant, of course, are looking for it. But I think it's uh, Ollie should be a bit closer. But you know, he's still he's still got 70 damage. He's still pretty strong. I'm just worried about the Spectre for the sake of the Dire. He is level 19. Royds is yeah four levels ahead of everyone else. He is farming incredibly well. Veterans knows he's there. I think Royds has seen him too. Royds is on the run. There's a TP in. He just runs straight into him. Is Ollie going to go in for the jewel? Yep, there's the jewel. Nice tornado. Do they have the damage? Yes, they do. 360 pure damage from the hook. Ends the four times kill streak. Gives veterans some levels. But out comes the darkness. They're running in. Look how fast Noodles gets taken down. Silence as well. And that's going to be a veteran kill. So they, yes, they did kill Royds, but they've lost two of their own. Maybe more. Ollie's on the run. Blink TP. Is he going to be fine? Yes, he is. Oh, Dragon. He was halfway through the void animation. Oh, he did get the uh, did get the jewel win as well, so he's now up to 90 damage. So slowly but surely getting stronger. But the Radiant, they are still asserting their dominance. A lap on the Night Stalker, he is slapping that tower. And now they've seen Miles. They're like, oh, Miles, you're out of position. I'm going to kill you. Look how fast he dies. And now Brex goes in. Brex, you are only level 14. You need to be farming. You're too weak on Slark to be engaging in these fights early. Uh, I know you want to help your team, I guess that makes sense, but maybe your team should make space for you and let you farm, because 25 minutes, 135 CS, only at 8k net worth, I think you probably need to get the BKB before you can fight. At least he hasn't done that thing where, I don't know if it was you or somebody else, where they were like, they don't like, um, like, Slark's going straight Silver Edge anymore, you know, like with the Echo and then the Shadow Blade. Good, yeah, I, I think, I think he's. I don't know if it was yeah, you. yeah, I did say. I, I, but he just went for the echo, which I think is fine. That's that's a smart thing to do. I'm not a big fan of echo on Slark at all, but you know, it, it's fine to just pick up echo. I think if he went full full Silver Edge, funnily enough, in this game actually makes sense because it does let you break the Spectre. But he's clever and he's realised actually I need the BKB first. I think he'll go BKB and then Silver Edge. So. His itemization is fine. Silver's Edge Rush, I mean, he's so much weaker than the Spectre. I don't think the four seconds of break is really going to make a difference. If I, I think maybe Ollie could have gone Silver Edge on the yeah, Legion Commander. Yeah, you both just said the same thing, you and Tob. Oh, yeah, exactly. I said it, I said it just before I read Toby's hair. Yeah, yeah. No, like, I, I was listening to you, and then I saw Toby type oh. it at the same time. More dual damage for Ollie. 110 now. Because if Oli does Silver Edge, attack Spectre, then jewels, maybe in the four seconds he can take her down, especially as he gets more jewel wins. When does he get an interesting talent? Level 25 is the jewel damage bonus, so lets him scale even better into the late game. Alright, Brex is finding a bit of farm now. This is good. He's getting very close to BKB. He'll have it soon. Rush down. Oh. Really and they kill taken. Spectre twice. Uh, I don't think they can kill him once. Well, they, they have done a bit, but they just need to take out the other heroes first. I think if they can kill Queen of Pain and just hold the Spectre, you know, disable him. They don't have a lot of hold for him, that's the problem. I think Ollie needs to try to jump on Queen of Pain, kill her straight away. He's got BKB, so he can pop it. The Queen of Pain went straight for Shiva's Guard, which I think was a very clever pickup. So that, that's that's an intelligent pick. Gives you that big armor pool. 26 armor on the quad. It has no arms to defend itself. Going for 20 damage instead of 8 strength is a bit risky. Ollie goes in. He's actually trying to take down Drekken. And he does get the kill. 140 bonus damage. What's he going to do now? Is he going to chop up Royds? Royds is all over the place. They can't find him. I think they're just going to go back into their base. Necropost dies to the ult. Hudge going to go down too. Rex, though, he's trying to get some kills. He needs to go back. He hasn't stolen much Agi. Where are you going? They're still going on him. Look at that impetus damage from Tom. Huge. Jack blinks in, gets the kill. Everyone's dead but Ollie. I think this was a mistake by Ollie. 
Oh, if I nearly gets a kill. Oh, Tom does so much damage in these team fights. He's only a support enchantress, but you can't ignore him. Yeah, I was about to say that. Like, they're so focused on the cause. Sometimes you forget that, like, the support in the back line can actually do quite a bit of damage. Well, if your support you don't, is you enchantress, whoa. <laughs> Depends on the support. There are definitely some supports you don't want to just ignore. But some are okay. Typically how you try to take out Oracle straight away so he can't save anyone. Or you yeah, try to take out Dazzle. Wisp. Yeah, Dazzle or Wisp so he can't heal his team. Or... Um, I think Ollie made a mistake there. He... Oh, never mind. He's going to get another kill. Yeah, this is huge. Okay, good, Ollie. That is exactly One what you need to be day. doing. 170 damage. And now they're going to find Bilal. Oh. Nice hook from Veteran. Max hook. Tom does four star, but past the tower. Gets ulted. I think Veteran... Does he have enough damage to take him down? There's a lot of healing coming out. Oh, I heard the Necrophos ult. That is actually going to secure Belial. Tom, he doesn't get away. Out comes the hook. And there's some more permanent stats. One Aji for the Slark. One Strength for the Pudge. And what is it? 30 damage for Ollie. He's on 170 damage. I mean, that is a lot. We're already halfway to a rapier, and when he hits 25, he can take the double dual damage talent, 60 dual damage a win. His big mistake that fight was going on Drekken. You don't need to put everything on the Night Stalker. You've got to get Jack or even Tom, I think, uh, but probably uh, Jack if you can. But Ollie is now forced to be reckoned with. He is going for the Silver Edge because uh, he knows that this allows him to kill the Spectre. Now, Spectre probably isn't too scared yet. Because look, he's 23, he's still got the Aegis, he's now got a full Scardi, so that will be applying the, um, the was it 40%? 40% 40 spell, uh, spell lifesteal and normal lifesteal, and 50% attack speed reduction on the Legion Commander. So maybe he thinks, ah, well that will be enough to keep me alive. He's got decent armor, it's not very high, 23 armor, or 25 with the Aquila. But I think Ollie is probably almost strong enough to solo a Spectre now. And as soon as that time comes, it's going to be a hard game. A really hard game for the Radiant. At the moment, they're still winning. They're still 12k ahead. Top tower is under oh God, the bloody bounties, man. Yeah. The noise. <laughs> Poor Tom. They're going in for a fight. Nice hook onto Bilal, but Bilal doesn't really care. Here comes another duel. You're trying to go on Drekken. You can't kill Drekken. He's too tanky. He's got a Heaven's Halberd. Again, Ollie goes on Drekken. Makes the same mistake twice. Now Veteran's going to die the dire. You need to run. Radiant don't even have a hero there. Jack is not there at all. And yet they're still winning the team fight. That's the second kill. Is he going to get out? No. Nope. Cold snap. Ollie, you've got to get away. Got a triple kill on the Spectre. Triple kill on the Spectre. And they didn't even have Queen of Pain at all. I mean, this is the thing. Dire have the potential to win this game. 100% they can. If you know, Ollie is fed and everything. There's already this blade mail on Spectre, he doesn't care. He's just running into Ollie. Ollie's disconnected or I don't know what he's saying, maybe not paying attention. In fact, Ollie just dies. Literally, Royce just runs into the base yeah. and solos Ollie. What was, he, what was he doing? I think he just oh, wasn't Slark? paying attention. Um Oh Slark dies as well. Didn't yeah. see that. Buy back from Ollie. Uh, Ollie should not be dueling Drekken. Drekken is tanky, he's got a heaven salvage. He's not an easy kill. Nice hook under the tower. Wow, but what a reaction from the Radiant. They just run straight in. Goodbye, Veteran. Ulted by Jack. Not sure that was really necessary. He's got the Enchanted Quiver. Probably would have done the same. Buyback from Brex as well. That's going to keep him pretty poor. Yeah. I mean, Ollie's not going so red anymore. He changed it to an AC. Okay, trying to get some more damage. He realizes that he's not strong enough to kill Roids at the moment, so he's going to have to pick off other people. Aegis is gone. If you can find the Queen of Pain, it'll be huge. They've seen the Spectre, they're running after her. Rex is running as well. They know he's up on the high ground. He blinks in, he pops PKB, you can't actually see him. He does get the duel. Do they have the damage? Rex is here as well, they're both popping BKB. They still don't have the damage. Spectre is way too tanky. Out comes the Reaper Scythe, it will bring him down, but I think Rex is going to die. No, he gets away with the Shadow Dance. But Jack, huge Sheevers, just doing tons of damage. The Dire, they are all going down. Out comes the Meatball as well. And that is basically a full wipe there. I mean, Ollie does manage to TP out in the last bit of his BKB. They do take down Royce, but Royce has buyback and haunt. No buyback from the Dire. All the Dire need to do is exactly that. Spectre, haunt straight in. 
Bought a basher before he uh... And there you go. Just use the buyback aggressively. This is a really, really clever play from Royds. Don't just sit there and, oh, it's fine, I don't need to buy back. No, aggressively buy back. Use it to win the game. God, this is what we're learning. And uh, unfortunately, Ollie, you tried to hide in the trees. You're going to be found. Only hooking an illusion on veteran. Oh, this is a game where Dyer had a lot of opportunities to win, but it was it was an uphill battle. I feel like it may be too late now. They are just so strong. This Spectre hit level 26. Another point of dispersion. They still don't have a Silver Edge to break it, and they're just committing for the win. I think this may be the game. Yeah, first phase Spectre. Another first phase core win uh, from Jack S. <laughs> With Jack, you know what you're doing, mate. Your drafting seems to be yeah. so good. He drafts and then it just yeah, wins. Like, he wins all the games that he drafts. Necropost has gone in with the BKB. He's going to get kept alive by the Oracle. Oh, they managed to hook Draken, but not quite deep enough. Ult secures the kill. And that's going to be GG. Another win for Roids. He managed to tactically dodge the loss. That was incoming yeah. for his Draw Ranger. <laughs> yeah. Jack S draft an infinite scaling team lost. And also, um, Belial, he puts another one in the bank. I mean, let's have a look at the BVGS oh, yeah. leaderboards. True. So, I don't know if I can... Um, do I have the means to show that on the stream quickly? I have to show my display, if that works. Yeah, there you go. I mean, this is before the game that we've just calculated, but... Royds was on the winning team, so was uh, Belial. Brex lost. Brex actually was doing pretty well. He's ranked 7. Um, that's uh, another win for Tom. He's doing quite well. Jack, he's number 10. He's going to be moving up a little bit there. Unfortunately, I think that was a loss for Noodles. Yeah. He's going to be going down. That's a loss for Miles, Ollie, uh, Dre Drekken. No, he won. So good for Drekken. But uh, yeah, Royds and Belial further cementing their position as the top players. I mean, Royds are so far ahead, it's not even funny now. It's like, yeah. what is this man's win rate? going to be 46 to 22 it's just just incredible <laughs> that man but i mean he played really well he's a good specter player it's not the first time he's played that hero for sure and he deserves the win so i'm sure he'll hit immortal at some point and that would be nice because then i'll have uh, someone else in the immortal bracket to play with yeah uh, but uh, yeah but who's gonna get their actual number before you know oh well i don't i don't really i don't really grind ranked so i'm not getting any closer to the number i mean i'm exactly on immortal mmr again so i may try doing some more ranked but i need a lot of wins to get my number i probably need 400 mmr roughly so it's still a little bit to go but yeah it was it was a good game you can see that even up to around 23 24 minutes yeah the radiant had an advantage but it wasn't huge dyer did win a few fights you can see they were 15k behind still managed some good fights but i don't want to like blame any one individual player oh, but yeah, no. i think ollie should try to have not jeweled drekken he did it twice in a row i feel like you need to really be saving that jewel even if you can get the easy win if Drekken dies, who cares really? Sorry, Drekken, you were really influential in that game. But if you die, you've, your Spectre's still alive, your Queen of Pain's still alive, Tom's sitting in the back doing a load of damage, they can still win the fight easily. Um, Brex needed to farm a bit more. I felt like he wanted to turn up to fights because, you know, Slark gets permanent agi and he's aggressive, etc. But you needed to farm more. You didn't have a good start. I would have gone Midas as well. If Spectre's going to go Midas, you should go Midas too. Is otherwise you're just the longer the game goes on the worse you do unless you're like 10-0 in your lane just get a Midas it's Midas gaming yeah it's just part of the game uh, Veteran did play very well it, his score doesn't look great at the end unfortunately but he did very well in the early game uh, but unfortunately Spectre was just too strong um, Necrofo struggled but you know I think Miles ended up doing fine in the end uh, it was just a few poor team fights or good team fights from the Radiant we'll say you know nice use of Orchid by Jack that was fantastic Roids is just huge, farm, did loads of damage, and Tom, surprisingly, let's have a look at the damage dealt, it's not actually looks that big on Tom, but, you know, when it was in the fights, when it counted, it was huge, obviously Spectre's going to do the most damage, right, because Radiance, but, uh, yeah, 
yeah, a good game. At least we got one proper game. We started on time as well, which was awesome. Uh, and yeah. hopefully we will again. 